Uh, my name is Patricia Fisher, and I am a research nurse at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. And this webinar will discuss the uh, side effects that you may experience um, in your stomach, uh, your gastrointestinal system as well. So what, what is nausea? Um, this is a medical term, and it's simply an upset stomach or an uneasy feeling uh, in your stomach. Nausea or upset stomach um, can be from your treatment. So first make sure that you're taking your uh, treatment medicine as prescribed. You may want to consider taking it a slightly different way if it's permitted. You can try eating small frequent meals during the day or talk to your doctor about taking an anti-nausea medication. These are some suggestions which may work for you. Um, additionally, it can help to eat small frequent meals. Start your day with a small breakfast, toast with very small amount of peanut butter or sliced banana, dry cereal or cereal with skim milk or perhaps a granola bar. Two to three hours after breakfast, you should have a snack. You can try slices of apple, toast or crackers with or without peanut butter. Make sure you take the time to sit and eat each meal. Do not wait to feel hungry or go, more importantly, go by the time. If it has been two to three hours since lunch, then it may be time for a snack. Other suggestions are to snack on half a sandwich, nuts, if you can tolerate eating them, yogurt, or fruit with some cheese. After dinner, but an hour or two before bedtime, try eating a light snack. Graham crackers, slice of bread, dry cereal, or something simple before bedtime is another opportunity to eat some calories. Additionally, Make sure you're well hydrated during the day. That means that you drink plenty of fluids, eight to 10 eight ounce glasses of beverages that do not have caffeine. Eat your small frequent meals. Avoid fried, greasy, creamy, spicy foods. Eat your meals slowly. It is important to manage your nausea because it can keep you from eating and drinking. You need to eat and drink so your body gets the nutrients it needs. You need to maintain your energy. Eat foods from all the food groups as much as you are able. This will ensure that you get proper nutrition. To minimize nausea, avoid eating foods that give off an odor are fried, greasy, rich, or spicy until you have your nausea under control. Then, if you have a favorite food you want to add back into your diet, try it a little at a time. Eating your meals slowly may help minimize nausea. Some people like to practice relaxation methods to help minimize nausea, such as listening to music, yoga, or meditation. There are anti-nausea medications available to help treat and prevent your upset stomach. But you need to talk to your doctor and nurse if you have these feelings of upset stomach because these medications require a prescription from your doctor. Mucositis or mouth soreness or mouth sensitivity or it can be mouth soreness with or without sores. Suggestions to help treat mucositis include avoiding the use of commercial mouthwashes that contain alcohol or peroxide since these may burn and aggravate the mucous membranes. Regular use of salt water rinses or baking soda will help maintain a clean mouth and provide some comfort. There are prescriptions available through your doctor that can help with the mouth sensitivity, 
but you need to speak to your doctor before you can get the medications. Taking good care of your mouth is important. Not that it will prevent mouth sores, but it will help keep your mouth clean and hopefully you'll be able to maintain eating. It's important that you brush your teeth using a mild toothpaste with a soft toothbrush so not to aggravate any sores or soreness. Rinse your mouth after brushing your teeth. It's okay to use salt water or baking soda mixed in with water. Talk to your doctor or nurse about other types of mouth care products that may be available over the counter or with a prescription. These are just some suggestions you may find helpful. Consider making a list of questions you may want to ask your physician. Call your physician to talk about these and other possible suggestions. Make a list of your questions and concerns before calling your doctor. And call your doctor certainly if these symptoms interfere with your daily routine.